So my last video was about how Microsoft updates almost destroyed SSDs. Yeah, that August 2025 Windows 11 cumulative update KB5063878 one. Now, I don't know about everyone's experience, but since I deal with PC issues daily from you guys, I've noticed something. Microsoft doesn't seem to care much about AMD users at all. Maybe I'm wrong, but here's what I found. So solution one, I already mentioned before, your NVMe might have a new firmware update and updating it can fix the issue. But many of you said there's no update available yet and others said even after updating, the issue still exists. Then I got this comment from a guy who said the firmware update actually fixed it for him. He even shared his feedback, so yeah. Results are mixed. Anyway, one of my friends was facing the same issue with an ADATA NVMe. I don't remember the exact model right now, but I'll drop it in a pinned comment later. So I told him to update his NVMe firmware if available. He did that, but the problem was still there. Then it hit me. This happened to me before with similar issues, not the same, but kind of related. So I told him to check for a BIOS update too, and guess what? After he updated the BIOS, the problem was gone. <clears throat> and it's not just me. There's this big YouTuber I really respect because he genuinely helps his viewers. And I've learned a lot watching his work. He also tested this issue live in his video, updated the BIOS, and it fixed the problem right in front of everyone. The first thing I'm gonna do, like I said, never, it never, your proof that we were not provided that drive or that BIOS is, Celsius now, but just we need active cooled or water cooled cables now. Anyway, um, yeah, it includes an Agesa update because it would include the Agesa update that's in 318. I'll drop that video link in the description. Make sure you check it out. So, yeah, in short, update your SSD firmware first. If that doesn't help or no update is available, then go for a BIOS update. Honestly, in most cases, doing both works best. I've seen a bunch of comments across different channels where people confirmed one or the other solved it. Now, updating BIOS isn't risky at all, as long as you follow the right steps. Every motherboard brand has their own tutorial on their official site. So here's how you do it quickly. First, you need to know your motherboard model. Click on the Windows icon, type System Information, and look for Baseboard Product. That's your motherboard model. For example, mine is Prime B650MA Wi-Fi 2. Then just Google it, like Prime B650MA Wi-Fi 2 BIOS, and open the first link, which should be your manufacturer's site. Go to the BIOS and firmware section. Every site looks different, but the options and names are usually the same, so don't stress. Now, check your current BIOS version date. Match it on website. Mine is already up to date. Might be because of this update, I didn't face issue. And honestly, I love to explore things as soon as they release, which most of the time save me, but always avoid beta release. Anyways, every detailed and mentioned on website, you can simply update your BIOS by watch tutorials on manufacturer website. And once you're done with the update, you're good to go. Hopefully you won't face any issue again, but if you do, just drop your model and what exactly happened in the comments. I'll try to help you out there. And yeah, if this video actually helped you or at least cleared up the confusion, make sure to hit that like button and share it with someone who's facing the same issue. All right, guys, that's all for today. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.